Magic in the morning, Katrina Wolverton, 836 on the clock means it's time for good policies. An installment with Mike Barrett from Barrett Insurance Agency in St. Johnsbury talking about how you can get the most out of your bucks for insurance. Good morning to you, Mike. Good morning to you, Jeff. How are you? I am uh, happy that we don't have snow yet. (laughs) Uh, you might want to get over that pretty quick. Tis the season, my friend. Yeah, so, couple yeah. couple mornings uh, last weekend, weekend before that, had some snowflakes on the car. Yeah, enough of that conversation for me. What you know, to land? something I've always wanted to ask you here. You know, I mean, we talk about you know there are things on your car that can get you brakes on your insurance, and you know it started out with ABS and then airbags and and seatbelts were one other one, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all of those things can lower your insurance rates, and now they're pretty much. Every car has that. But let's talk about homes, okay? Uh, We've had times where we've had clients come in, talk about home security systems, home alarm systems. Uh, You know, also out there, I can't think of many people. You've talked about yours. You've got like a video doorbell and and home surveillance system. Are these kinds of things beneficial for you when it comes to your home or renter's insurance? Yes and no. How's that for an answer? Uh, I think that's literally every answer I give. Yes, and uh, a little bit of no. Um, uh, but yeah, you you, so here, let's start with, uh, what types of systems companies kind of give credits for. Okay. So you get, obviously you get a credit for having a smoke detector, a fire extinguisher, believe it or not, some companies give you a credit, not huge 1% with many, uh, for having deadbolt locks. So what's the theme we're working with here? We're working with ways to mitigate loss, right? So if you have a fire, you got a fire extinguisher. If you have a fire, you have smoke detector to get out safely. If you have somebody trying to break into your house, you have a deadbolt lock to hopefully slow them down. Um, so alarm systems will do the same thing. You know what I mean? They will They will certainly give you a little bit more credit. Uh, we're not talking incredible huge amounts, um, but it's a combination. For me personally, it's a combination of uh, my friend bought it for me as a gift, I liked it. I added on to it, and it's in place. Uh, and it gives me a little bit of credit in the process, too. Um, but alarm systems can be very beneficial. And the alarm systems of today are so much better than they were years ago because they can be wireless. In our ever-connected world, you don't have to hardwire the thing to every window and door and every sensor that you have. So you can have a couple of motion sensors. You can have a door tap. You can have a window tap. Um, you know, certainly good things to have. It, but that's just the theft part of it, right? That's just somebody getting in. So other areas that can help you out, monitoring your smoke detectors with, uh, uh, I have a device that monitors my smoke detectors so that I don't have to go buy new ones. And if they go off, it alerts my alarm system. And it knows the difference between carbon monoxide and smoke. You know what? Uh, talking about, we had a client in one time talking about home security systems. And we've also heard some local businesses that have credited from this as well. Uh, there are systems out there that will alert you when the temperature inside of your home drops significantly, like which would represent either a window being smashed in uh-huh. or somebody broke in a door. and, and you know, Or, like, fa- or, you're, or you could have run out of fuel or right. your boiler or furnace just stopped and you're not home. Uh, that's a huge one, Jeff. That's a really good point. And actually, I have it. Looks like almost a, uh, it's a white hockey puck style device that it sits on my floor. I have it right by my floor drain in my basement, and it monitors for both temperature and water. So if it gets wet, it lets me know there's water. If it gets too cold, it tells me that I need to need to check on things. How awesome is that? And that is an incredible way to mitigate loss. And so now we're now we're kind of looking at the trifecta, right? We're looking at theft, fire, and water with freezing. Um, And so those three things can be huge. Now, how do you get a credit? Well, most companies, if not all, want you to have, you know, some people call it professional monitoring. It's central monitoring where you have a monitoring agreement and it goes to a central monitoring company and they alert you and the officials uh, if you need them, right? So I had an elevated carbon monoxide raised in my house a number of years ago. My system was in place my system dispatched the Waterford Fire Department and they were at my house. Um, You know, so it was awesome to see that it works and it can give you credit, but don't think that you're going to get so much credit that it's going to offset your cost of purchasing and and paying for the central monitoring fee, which by the way is now a lot cheaper than it used to be. I think I pay like $150 a year for it. Um, But if you have a secondary home or if you have a multi-million dollar home, these are going to be very impactful, beneficial things for you. You perfectly led into one of the the next thing on my checklist of things to talk about. Not everybody out there has them, but short-term rentals are not always 
always occupied. Yeah. So those that are out there, you know, these kind of things could be beneficial for them as well. Yeah, they, they certainly can be. And it's just a matter of, you know, and, and some people are, are really good and they'll say, hey, I'm thinking about and what would it do? And there are times that we say, hey, look, it'll save you like 20 bucks a year, you know, and people will still do it because the peace of the mind, peace of mind and saving $20 is great for them. Um, but if you're looking to really offset your cost and investment, it's not going to happen with most cases. But again, those secondary homes can be very, they can actually, those can actually offset some cost pretty nicely. Same with the, the you know, 1.2, 1.4, 1.5, $1.6 million homes, in which cases most companies are going to require it. Now, it's very important to know what kind of system your company allows too. Some companies don't like the Simply Safe and the rings and the nests. Some companies are fine with them. And I bring that up because I've seen that. I have a ring system and my company is fine with a ring system. So I get the credit. Not that I was necessarily looking for it, but come on, a credit is a credit. Well, so. 20 bucks here, 10 bucks there, $5 over here. You've saved a, you know, a fair amount of money that can yeah. offset the cost of that. So in your final, your comments that you just made there. So when you talk about the ring and, and others like that, not accepted by most or by some, some yep. the, you, we're talking more things like ADT and stuff like that. Well, they that, may want a professionally installed system, but even ADT is using some of these systems too. Uh, they've certainly come a long way in how they can uh, implement and put things in place. And there's also still local uh, folks who put alarm systems in who are also utilizing the newer technology. So just have a conversation, see which one's going to get you credit if you want that, um, and then go for it. Now, one of the things we see a lot of, Jeff, is people asking if cameras give a credit. Believe it or not, no. Um, c cameras don't give a credit, certainly good to have, I have them, um, but they're not going to give a credit because 90% of the time the cameras are only going to your phone. Um, so they're not being centrally monitored. And again, it's that central monitor situation that's going to, cause you, they'll give you a certificate. So you provide that to your insurance company so that you can get the credit. There's also water shutoff systems available. There are systems that you can plug into your house and monitor your electrical to make sure all things are good there. So a lot of technology being brought in place, and some companies are innovating even further by giving some credits for those. Uh, companies like Ohio Mutual, for example, will give you a credit. They'll even work with Simply Safe and help get you a system. Um, so cool things to think about and have a discussion about. Well, saving money is saving money. Doesn't matter how much; every little bit helps. And you talked about the conversation. Yeah, give us a call seven four eight five two two four. You can find us on Portland Street in St. Johnsbury online, thebarrettagency dot com, Google, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Just look for Barrett Insurance Agency. And uh, we're going to have one more chat before Thanksgiving, aren't we? Gobble, gobble. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Sounds good. Good policies with Magic in the Morning at 835. And we're on our way to our Beans Homes Hometown Minute right here on Magic 93.3.